Hey there Titans, in this video I'll show you how to embed your Titan component within uh, the Salesforce Lightning Web component. Alright, so what we have here is a very simple form and um, in this form we're just getting a contact ID, we're pulling out all the uh, account that uh, our contact ID related to, all of its contacts aside from that specific contact and we're pulling the same way the account cases. Um, in this instance, I'll show you how to embed the Titan component within a community and we will use a Salesforce session. Use Salesforce session as well. And I'll show you that in just a moment. All right, so let's take a look at our get real quick. So very simple get. <clears throat> um, getting the contact by the ID that we'll pass in from the Lightning Web component and uh, maintenance re request is a case, just the object was renamed. Getting all the, uh, let's take a look at the condition. Um, the account ID equals to my contact ID account ID and same way for the contact as well. So if we'll look at that, account ID equals my con number one contact ID or the account ID of that contact and I don't want to get the same contact that I'm working on right now. So I'm not getting it. Um, all right, so let's uh, dive right in there. And I have like a simple condition here to hide this table on this label and some repeated section just to show you how cool this thing is. Um, so this is a repeated section with auto sizing. And what we will do is we'll dive right into the LWC and we'll head over to my form settings. I'll do view more, go to limits, um, check the SFLWC. First thing we need to do is tell Titan what is the ID that we will pass in from the LWC component. So in my instance, it's the contact ID because all of my gets are based up on that. You should always do that. Whatever, whenever you have uh, the, your main hit and the, you run all your gets or pushes, whatever it is you're doing in your form, um, this is the one that you should map. And I'll select use Salesforce session, which means whatever um, user that will be running or viewing the Lightning Web component, all the actions that we will take against Salesforce it will happen under that user's permission. So if we were using a community, then that community user will run all the actions. Uh, one thing to note here that if you are running um, a community user or a lesser user than a sysadmin, you always have to take into account what uh, your form is performing. So if your Titan form creates things that the, the user doesn't have access to, so it's just not gonna happen. It's gonna give it an error. You don't have enough permission to do this and that. So that's something to always keep in mind. And I'll hit apply and I'll hit publish and I'll show you what happens once we enable LWC. You see that the, the form is disabled since from the moment you enable LWC, then the only way to access it is within your org and your org only. All right, so let's see how we can uh, embed this into uh, the Lightning component. So I'm gonna head over to my uh, community builder and I'm at a contact detail page since I'm looking at contacts and I'll grab the Titan LWC. It's within our Salesforce package, uh, form Titan Salesforce package. And the only thing we need to do here is to pass in the Titan URL and pass in record ID if we have it. And for the record ID, it's very simple. The value should be a uh, curly brackets, exclamation mark record ID. So like that, and the Titan URL, it's what we just published, and that's the one right here. All right, we're good to go. Um, one thing you will notice, you see this is very, very small, and what we want to happen here is for the form to grow accordingly to our form. So in order for us to have, in order for this to happen, what we will do is, we'll head over to form settings limits and we're gonna tick the post message. And what I'm gonna say is allow domains in my instance, I'm gonna allow all domains. Um, and I'll tick the post form size changes. And the only thing I have to make sure is that my uh, form style size and position embed mode is checked as well, just to give it some more um, uh, better uh, visibility. And uh, we'll head back to this, we will publish it. We have our Lightning Web component and it, you can throw as many components as you want, wherever you want, give a different URLs or the same URL, but whatever your usage is, you can 
reuse it as many times as you want. You can just drop it here, drop it there, wherever you want. You can reuse it as many times as you need. Um, I have my community open on a separate page, so I'm gonna head over to the contacts and I'm gonna grab a contact. <clears throat> let's take a look. And I get a bunch of contacts over here. So let's add something. Let's add a new contact. I'll say added from community and and we'll add that contact and let me show you what the okay so we get a success everything is, is nice so we have this one and we're going to go to salesforce and see what happened over there so what i'm going to do here is um search my uh, new uh, contact added from community and we can see that it created automatically under just my mapping under the account name um, the interesting is thing here is that we see that it was created by Jack Rogers. Jack Rogers is a partner user which was logged into that community. So this is what the use Salesforce session does. And this is how it's done.